a doom, a doom, a doom, doom, doom. ポンパドールの男子が好きです。大体こういう人はウケです。ワンワンワンワンワンワンドゥン。My TikTok views are shit, but this is only six seconds long, and if you watch it four times and then like, comment, and share, they might not be so shit. How to use a pencil like the old masters. First, sharpen a two and a half inch lead to a tapered point. Then, hold the pencil to the side and use the very tip of the lead to get into the grooves of the paper. Make sure never to shade using the up and down M motion. Instead, use singular directional strokes. Each layer of shading should have its own consistent directional mark. And switching this direction with each layer helps you really get into all of the grooves of the paper. This will make each layer get progressively darker and less noisy, leaving you with a beautiful, smooth finish. I found this trick with TikTok. It's amazing. So if you want to save your video and use it on another app, you simply save your video leave the app immediately so save on tiktok leave the app immediately wait a second or two come back in it'll finish downloading and it'll be saved without the watermark and you can go in and you can use it on another app i suggest on the other app add a sticker add a sound change something so that it becomes organic there but it's fantastic no watermarks have fun with that Okay, so it's day 573 of shaking the shelf to see how I feel. Oh, I feel like crap. Okay, so it's day 573 of shaking the shelf to see how I feel. Oh, I feel like crap. All right, check it out. Since my art hit your page, can you do me a big favor and watch this video? Because this took me many hours to do. So I hope I get one like, a couple of comments what you think of it. And if you can, maybe share with somebody who might like my artwork. Because I put a lot of love and effort into this. So I hope you guys blow this video up and show some love. I would really appreciate it. Attention all artists, I want to see your sketch versus your final. I want to see how messy they are or how neat they are. So use this sound so we can all see. If you're a nail artist panicking about having to paint the Grinch for the holidays, don't worry. I got you. Your nail art teacher is here. First thing we're going to do is paint a gumdrop shape with a jelly bean underneath it. I know that sounds weird, but that's the shape of the Grinch's head. Go ahead and 
fill that in and when you're done add a little square on the bottom for his neck next you're gonna paint two slanted teardrop shapes for his eyes and they should be positioned right where the gumdrop meets the jelly bean if you know what i mean draw some little white circles around his neck and the crown of his head this is just like the fluff on the santa suit definitely doesn't need to be perfect in fact the more irregular it looks the better to complete the santa hat draw a triangle with almost like a little tail coming out of it and looks like i forgot to film myself adding the little fluffy ball at the end but don't forget that gotta have the fluffy ball draw a little c shape for his nose and two candy canes for his eyebrows and now we're gonna set up for placing the mouth i want you to paint two dots on either side of his face and one in the lower middle i love using a dot plotting method like this when i have to place a line that's a little bit in the middle of nowhere if you know what the i mean dots just make it a lot easier to get things even on the first try all right he's really coming together i'm just gonna add his lower lip and chin I guess he doesn't really have an upper lip. It might just be kind of that whole thing up there. I don't know. Anyways, when you're doing the rest of the outline, I recommend keeping everything super sketchy to fit with the Dr. Seuss style. It's also why I love characters like this for beginners because the line work is very low pressure. When you're done, throw on your favorite matte taco. Yes, I did say taco. If you know, you know. And look at that. You just painted the garage. I hope this made you feel less intimidated by nail art. Let me know what you think and follow me for more nails. Take it off. I would rather die. इस वीडियो का बहुत ही ज्यादा ट्रेंड चल रहा है और बहुत से लोगों को बनानी ही नहीं आती तो आज मैं आप लोगों को इस वीडियो का फुल ट्यूटोरियल बताऊंगा तो बताओ प्रेसिंग टाइम चलते हैं मोबाइल स्क्रीन पर मोबाइल स्क्रीन पर आ जाने के बाद आपको प्ले स्टोर या एप स्टोर ओपन कर लेना है ओपन करने के बाद यहाँ पर सर्च करना है फोटो लीप ये सर्च करने के बाद आपको इसको डाउनलोड करके ओपन कर लेना है ओपन करने के बाद आपको टेप करना है ए सीन पर उसके बाद कंटिन्यू पर टेप करके आपको कोई अपनी इमेज सिलेक्ट कर लेनी है सिलेक्ट करने के बाद आपकी पिक्चर ऑटोमेटिकली एडिट हो जाएगी इसको सिंपली सेव कर लेना है उसके बाद आपको टिकटॉक के ओपन कर लेनी है ओपन करने के बाद यहाँ पर सर्च करना है एस जी एडिटर ये सर्च करने के बाद आपको इस वीडियो पर टैप करना है फिर आपको टेम्पलेट पर टैप करना है और दोनों पिक्चर सेलेक्ट कर लेनी है एडिट एंड विदाउट एडिट फिर आपकी वीडियो रेडी हो जाएगी फिर सिंपली इसको एक्सपोर्ट टू टिकटॉक कर लेना है और वही साउंड अप्लाई करना है जो आप लोगों ने सेव किया था Hola, ¿cómo están? Y hoy estamos un nuevo video para mi canal de, de TikTok. Así es, así es. Y hoy vamos a ver a todos los códigos sean activos en 2022. Y bueno gente, estos son ricolinos códigos, o si, si quieres saber más códigos, cualquier juego sea de parte de, de Loblox y entonces que voy a seguir mi cuenta de TikTok que le gustes. When you see shows like this that are so off the wall, do you think, what is wrong with these fashion houses? One of the hardest things about high fashion is that it's not really about what we wear every day. It's actually more like walking art. And so when you critique it, you need to critique it based on not how wearable it is, but what it's speaking to. And I would say this Marc Jacobs show is very much like the Margiela show in that they're both using in that they're both using caricature, which actually isn't a negative word. It just means that you're using exaggeration. Are you Margiela stands complaining? I said it's caricature. It's also reminiscent of the Scaparelli show, which is talking about how the present is impacted by the past. In this case, 2000s technology. And how is this talking about the past? It's really looking at things like 1960s office culture, where you might have a beehive or a bouffant while you sat at your desk and did work. And remember, this is a time when the word computer was still women who computed. It was also a time where society was changing drastically and there was a lot of really cultural strife. More and more women were in the workplace. More and more women were going to college. Family structures were drastically changing. Those last few statements I said could sound like our time today. And just like Barbie with her low-key bouffant, used a doll who was super popular in the 60s to talk about our time. Mark Jacobs 
offers a commentary on femininity and our time through the lens of the 1960s. Now that said, with all of that background, do you like it? Knowing the history doesn't necessarily impact taste. What do you think about this show?